You can't trust him with anything. Jesus works for 33 years, performing miracles, doing all kinds of things, winning followers, and then it all falls apart because of Allah's deception. So Jesus didn't do anything, didn't accomplish anything that lasted. And what about Jesus' followers, these people who decided to follow Jesus? Well, they were corrupted. Their, their beliefs were corrupted by Allah himself. And then Paul comes in there and totally overpowers them. And they fail completely. This is what we keep trying to emphasize on this program. Muslims really believe, ah, we have this noble religion. It's, it's better than all these other horrible religions. We have the true belief. And then if you just dig a little bit deeper, you find out what you're saying. You are accusing God of some horrible, horrible stuff. You are accusing Jesus of being the most miserable failure in the history of the prophets. And you are saying Jesus' followers are a bunch of losers who can't tell the difference between truth and falsehood, especially when God's trying to deceive them. Now, my friends, compare that. Compare that view of God, that view of Jesus, that view of Jesus' followers with the Christian view of all of these things. According to Christianity, God loved us so much that he was willing to do whatever was necessary for us to be saved. But God is so just, his justice is so perfect, he demands that all sin be punished. He's not like Allah who can just, eh, I'm going to forgive sins, or I'm going to trick you into believing your sins are forgiven. I don't know. I, you just can't tell with Allah. But our God is so perfect, he demands that all sin be punished, and he's willing to do whatever it takes uh, for us to be forgiven. Well, that includes taking the penalty upon himself, and that's exactly what he did. Jesus Christ entered this world. God wanted this done, and it was done. Jesus came with a mission. He fulfilled his duties and his job and his mission perfectly. He chose followers that he knew would carry his message to the death, and they did it perfectly. That's what Christianity claims. And so this, this Christian message, this gospel that you find so horrible, so insulting, is really, when you dig a little deeper, very honoring to God. It maintains God's perfect attributes. It maintains God's perfection. And this Islam, this other religion that you say is superior to Christianity, if you dig a little deeper, you find nothing but blasphemy and insults against God and Jesus uh, so even if we threw all evidence aside, if we, if we didn't pay attention to the fact that all the evidence we have tells us Jesus died by crucifixion, all the evidence we have tells us that Jesus rose from the dead, all the evidence we have tells us that Jesus claimed to be divine, if we threw all of that aside and we just examined what these two religions are saying about God, I think you'd have to say, if you understand what the religions are saying, you'd have to say, wow, Christianity is really, is really presenting a God that I can worship, and Islam is presenting this massive blasphemy to me that I can never accept. And when you add to this the fact that all of the evidence we have favors Christianity, and all of the evidence we have tells us that Islam is false, my friends, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? So those of you who are Christian, when, 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 we, when we put all of this on the table, you can, you can rest assured, wow, the truth is on our side. And those of you Muslims out there, you, shouldn't, you should have no rest. And that's not according to me, that's according to your religion. You should have no rest because only, only the unbelievers think that they're safe from Allah's deception. Only the unbelievers. You should be panicking day and night that Allah is out to get you. Not according to me, according to the Quran. If that doesn't make you scared, I don't know what will. But uh, you've got some thinking to do. We hope we've helped you. We're out of time. We'd like to thank our brother Anthony. I'd like yes. to thank my brother Sam. I'd like to Maybe. thank uh, yeah, CL. Uh, we'll be back again soon. And you'll um, be seeing more of Anthony in the near future, Lord Jesus willing. So. And uh, those of you who uh, want more in the meantime, you can visit our websites, www.answering-islam.org. Best website on the planet as far as uh, getting answers and learning about Islam and learning about Christianity. And those of you who like videos and debates and things like that, um, visit uh, our blog, uh, answeringmuslims.com. Uh, Muslims and Christians are free to comment. And so uh, we invite you to get in contact with us, and we look forward to discussing more issues here on Jesus or Muhammad. See you.